Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the That Much difficulty. Today, uh, after the disappointment that was uh, last episode because we got uh, swindled by an alchemist and you're not really learning anything new, um, we're gonna do a lot more favors for Krach on Crate. Starting with the quest, the Family Blade, um, Krach seems to have lost his... Uh, well, the, the blade of the family was stolen by a bunch of thieves. So, uh, we're gonna confront those thieves. How long are you gonna make me wait? They don't seem to be able to reason with me, so, uh... These guys are aggressive. There we go. So uh, let's see if they have that sword on them. Thief's Journal. Brunald, fat as a seal for winter yar, with a maw that reeks like a cesspit, but your head, brilliant, making a mold of the key with a lump of clay, damned clever. Can't believe I didn't think of it myself. I strolled right into the armory after dark. Kuliu was lying right there where you said, in a case wrapped in oilcloth. Kuliu, that's the family blade. What a blade! Fits your hand like a toothsome lass's tip. Punch sharp as a needle, hilts set with gems. Stared so hard I didn't hear that fool Olaf coming. He would have caught me had he not tripped and smacked his gob into the ground. Seems the gods are looking after us. So now we've got to sell the blade, and that won't be easy. Not many got that kind of coin, and them who do, don't want to cross Krach. Luckily, my brother Arian knows a merchant, fellow named Gimre, who always finds willing buyers for second-hand goods. They're going to meet in the old fortress near Firestall. Maybe they'll make a deal with Lugos, he's got heaps of gold and not a drop of fear for on crate. Cheers to you, old goat! So, that's the... Probably the place where we need to go next. Track down the thieves at the old fort. And it looks like it's uh, quite a ways off. I'm gonna loot this place because uh, there is a chest back here. And a few nice things. And when we're done with that, is there a chest inside here? No. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna head toward the old fort so I'll see you guys in a minute so after a very long horse ride we arrived at Slower. the old fort so I'm gonna dismount and uh, maybe even save and let's go have a chat chat with those uh oh gold this looks like a monster nest There go, those three. Oh, and the other one died as well. So, let's... Oh, another thief's journal. There we go again. Zvinar, I got good news and bad. I'll start with the bad. Me and Gimru went to Lugos, gave us the welcome custom demands. Mead and meat aplenty. But as soon as we unwrapped Kuliu from its letter and asked how much he'd give us for it, he ripped the blade from our hands and knocked us both on our asses, calling us thieves. He then sent us running from his house, hounds at our heels. Gimri runs slow, so they got him. That's fine, only means a bigger cut for us. Now here's the good news. We still got the sword, and now I know how to get rid of it. I talked to Steinfin, my brother-in-law, and he'll sell Kuliu in Novigrad and split the coin with us after. I know, I know, but I swear you can trust him. I'll give him the sword on the beach by the whale cemetery on Lord Skellig. I'll go alone, so as not to attract attention. Watch out, Lugos might have sent a messenger to Kaer Trolde to inform them of the theft. Just in case, hole up somewhere. Maybe with Aunt Hilde? She's not right in the head, but you can re rely on her anyway. Cheers, Irian. So, next stop, the uh, Whale Graveyard. Uh, but I'm gonna take a quick look over here, because it looks like there's a monster nest over here. Harpies got their nest here. So let's destroy it while we're here, because that usually has a lot of nice loot in it as well. 
There we go. All for us. And the soldier soldiers must have uh, cleared out the harpies themselves. Um, so now we'll go to that whale graveyard to so see you guys there in a minute as well. So, well, whale graveyard is pretty literal. And the road towards this place wasn't really... Okay, get off. Wasn't really safe because I passed the level 30 Cyclops. You guys gonna attack or... Uh... Let's burn you two. And he lost his arm. Gruesome. So those are bandits, but not apparently the bandits we're looking for. These are not the bandits you're looking for. Okay then. So let's look for the thieves between the rotting carcasses of whales. Ooh, wow, straight in the middle. No, those are probably not the guys we're looking for. Nope. Uh oh. They're talking about the sword. Look at them dance. Look at them dance. He lost his head. Ooh, up close. Head removal. Okay, let's find the sword for real this time. I hope. Yes, cool you. And the last journal. Spinar, I've been sitting with these damned whale carcasses for ages and still no sign of Steinfin. Either he's wrecked against the rocks or he's left me high and dry. I told Anka not to bring that bastard into this. Now I don't know what to do. Who else would be willing to buy this sword? Maybe we ought to take it back to Care Troll, but maybe Krach will laugh and let it all slide. Remember how it stank in the hut when that rat died behind Mars and Dahl's bed? Well, it stinks even worse here. And it's cold. Right back soon, or even better. Come. So, uh, well, they all died right now, so. Doesn't really matter anymore. Anything else I can loot in this place? Because if there's nothing, I might as well go to uh, Care Trolder immediately and hand Croch the sword. The reason I did this quest first is because uh, we're gonna start the King Selection in a minute as well. And I can. Uh, get my reward for helping Ceres and Hjalmar together with the reward for the sword. So, so let's go back to Kaer Trolde. So apparently we need to uh, bring the sword back to a guardsman named Olaf and not to uh, Krog himself, but we'll head to uh, Kaer Trolde Keep immediately afterwards. So, which man do we need to give it to? This man, Olaf. Hello, Olaf. What is it? Well, uh, I got the sword back. Retrieved the property you lost. Kill you? Thanks be to Freya, where'd you find it? Northern part of the Isle, near the Whale Cemetery. Don't ask me how it got there, long story. At any rate, don't need to worry about the thieves. They won't steal ever again. Your reward, sure as hell earned it. And a lot a bit more from myself. If Kill you'd not been found, I'd have had to wash the shame away with my own blood. That sounds gruesome. So uh, that's the family blade completed. And now we'll head to care troll the keep immediately and start the uh, the King's Gambit quest. So back at care troll the keep. A guard spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the gate. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me. It is tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. And, um, 
and he made an exception for Geralt then, because he's not a son or a daughter of Skellige. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come, Krach awaits. Okay then. So we started the uh, King's the Gambit calm. quests. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here in Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent? No, not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Step careful there. So, uh, after the feast, it started I've as much right kind of an election uh, expect you to support me. process. Not pinch my allies. If an aunt creates to wear the crown, it should be you. Brother and sister rivalry. Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Watch your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkards with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Oh, stop your shite boasting. Hmm. Cyrus! Hey! God damn it! Um, didn't play that well. <laughs> Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw her, she's so... so... Yeah, if you want the support of your fierce. sister... Mule-headed. Refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! You're gonna have to be a bit more friendly. <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Cyrus. We're near twins in that regard. So, where's your father? Don't see Krach. He talking to the Arls. No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. Sounds good. Spell, which, or perhaps you'd fancy some fifty cups with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. So, let's go find Krach. Do I need to follow Arnvald here? No, he goes to the table. So there's a girl dancing on the table, apparently. But let's go talk to Croc and get our reward. His private chambers open automatically. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking. This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Sounds like pretty much every election then. Svanrig's not vying for support. Svanrig is not gonna vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Okay then, and what's wrong with voting for the king? What's wrong with voting for your king? Democracy? Take a walk, listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, Favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Jarls will see the wisdom of it. Okay then. Uh, and uh, are you leaving the place then? Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. Okay. That was full of sarcasm. Hello, Croc. May I? You must even come. I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy. A hackamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Okay then, um... Guessing there's an ulterior motive to your hospitality, not torn between Hjalmar and Ceres. That's actually a very interesting question. Is he torn between his daughter and his son? Feeling torn between Hjalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay. <laughs> They're as different as fire and water. But on crate blood flows in both. Hmm. And isn't your son a bit too uh, hot-tempered to be a king? Between you and me, 
Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? Then yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler. The kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalmar. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skelliger, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Still sounds like your uh, daughter is the better option here, but... Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But? What but changed? Today I see, and I'm not alone. That Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through. The for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Sounds like a good leader to me. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Another sword. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one. Okay. Something's happening in the back. Well, not in the back, in the main hall. That? Damn it. I must have started another row. That's not Yalmar. Let's go. Yeah, because it does sound a bit more beastly. Where the hell did those bears come from? Okay, we have two giant bears in the holes. This one is almost down. There goes one. Oh, there's another one even. There's three bears. There goes that one. Now the last one. It's not a big problem with all the help we're getting. So both the Almar and Sarahs are fine. Uh, a lot of other people aren't. And Igni solves that problem pretty quickly. But where did those things come from? Yes. Seems the Jarls are fine as well. Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. So that's Lugol's on the right there. Hold on, son. He'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. <laughs> Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugos, and now you threaten my son. Uh, step to this. Dad, come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabid dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilled. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives, but we can, we must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Yeah, because uh, 
It's a rather big mystery where the bears actually came from. Because the Find gates were the closed, as we Drake. saw at the beginning. Find and kill them, else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Well, they were a friendly lot, aren't they? Okay. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait! Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yards aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. I'll help you, Ceres. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. That's not a good idea, I think, but... I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Don't thank me yet. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. Suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. Okay. Um, who died? No, who died? Drogadar. Drakeborn Du. Blue Boy Lugos. Yalborn. Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. Yeah, indeed. The only ones who survived are the Uncrates and the son of uh, Bran. So what happened before the massacre? Be precise. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. That's what then, we heard. From the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. Okay, let's take a look around and figure this mystery out. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Okay, so uh, we need to examine the crime scene using our Witcher senses. Pull yourself uh, together, Senna. But before we do that, I'm going to take a little break. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to uh, give it a toll to subscribe to my channel. Because I really appreciate the support. So I thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye.